Welcome to Let's Talk, bud. I got real excited, Reed. I already got the beers out. As you can see, we've already finished our uh, fine whiskey here because it's celebrating time, bud. <laughs> this is a big deal. Yeah, okay? yeah. We have a Hamilton Bulldogs jersey right behind Reed here because I got to tell you, we have some big news. You have some big news. Big news. You want to yeah. share it? You go ahead and share it. I, I want to say you share it. <laughs> As of, uh, well, when we're recording last Friday afternoon, the release went official that I've been named the new communications coordinator and full-time play-by-play announcer of your Hamilton Bulldogs. Hey, cheers to that, bud. Thank you. All 68 games this season at home, on the road, on the bus, in the Sioux, in Sudbury. I'm going everywhere. I'm in Michigan this year. I'm going everywhere with the team. And uh, I'm going to be sending back some correspondence reports from up north and out west and wherever it is I end up. Well, i got to tell you about it. It's been a little while since I've been in a locker room. It's been a little while since I've been on a bus with, with a bunch of fellow teammates. Um, so I'm looking forward to what these guys got to say because, you know, it's been a long time since I've been batting around some pucks on the ice, but i got to tell you. Uh, it's got me fired up again because this team is going to be really good this year. we got a good returning crew coming back. Uh, Isaac Nurse, who's a Hamilton kid, is ready to go and... He's going to be one of the top players, uh, not just our team, but I think around the OHL. He's got some NHL eyes on him. So it, it's it's very exciting time. I'm happy to be there and uh, looking forward to getting started with the games on September 20th. So there you go. So very excited about the Hamilton Bulldogs. Now I want to I wanna just precondition people, if you don't know who the Hamilton Bulldogs are, ignore the colors. Ignore the colors because they're also the same colors as the Boston Bruins, which the last episode they said this is a no Boston zone. It's still... A no Boston zone. That's why it's but, a Bulldog. Exactly. I will yeah. let these colors fly because I see a Hamilton Bulldogs jersey. I notice it's the same colors. Unfortunately, I wish they were blue and white, but it's fine. They're, they're, they're the Bulldogs colors. So as long as you're wearing Hamilton stuff, I can get behind it because I'm a Hamilton boy. I can, I can support that big time. Well, Mississauga already took the blue and white, so we didn't, we didn't have that option available to us. A little unfortunate. Mississauga is a little bit of a busy place. I don't go there too often. Um, but Hamilton, you know, I can get behind the black and yellow when it's Hamilton. Tie cats, Bulldogs, there's some synergy there. Synergy there. And then you got Boston just way off the, the suck path there. Well, hold on a minute. Now, our, our general manager and president is former Boston Bruins Steve Stales. Now, he played for a bunch of other teams, including the Edmonton Oilers, which Edmonton is Oilers, yeah. probably where he's best known. But he was Ray Bork's defense partner for a time with the Boston Bruins. Actually impressive. Actually a fact that I wasn't 100% aware of. But uh, I know Steve Steos is an Edmonton Oilers, so I'm going to try and remember him as an Edmonton Oilers. Because I can get behind the Oilers. I, I will never get behind <laughs> the Bruins. Unless anyway. I'm kicking them in the ass. Then I'll get behind them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, but, yeah, but, you know, I'm pretty excited for you. It's a yeah. pretty exciting time. Thank you. Um, another thing, too, that uh, I don't want you know too many people to know, but you can get some season tickets. So uh, I think I'll go to a game or two, right? Uh, yeah, but you're coming up in the booth with me is what you're doing. You're coming straight upstairs. You're going to watch it from up top this year, I think, is what we need to do. You're not giving me a live mic, right? No. No. Well, maybe call. at the intermission. Maybe at the intermission. Intermission. Okay. Not too many people are watching. Are you going to let me call the kiss cam? Uh, I'm not sure if we can do that. Uh, I may request commercial just in case. Just oh, okay. in case. Just case. I might do it. I might, <laughs> I might try and wiggle my way in there, bud. But I'm pretty happy for you. I Thank mean, you. it's pretty exciting. Um, as you notice, with the bottles here, I've got congrats, Reed. Bruins still suck. So, I mean, I mean, you, know, <laughs> you got you got halfway there. All right, I'll take it. I will take the small victories. I, I, I have to acknowledge them when they're there. I, I have to. But it is it is a really exciting time. You've been dreaming of this since you were a kid. I'm really happy Five you're making old, money. Yeah. Dude, I'm really happy you're making money in hockey. I and think that, was the, that was the moment the other night when you said that that made me smile. That was the one that, that got me in the end. But, so, for uh, the, the people at home that are watching the show, I'm not always mean to them, okay? I'm not always mean... Dog's messing with the mics again. I'm not always mean to him. No, I not. I am very happy for him. Reed's a good dude, despite his choice in hockey team. But it's fine. Our NHL team, not a hockey team overall. But I'm, I'm happy for you. I'm really really happy Thanks, for buddy. you. Well, obviously we celebrated, but okay, enough enough. Yeah, exactly. Enough about me. We went through that and then got to the Johnny Walker. Enough about me. But uh, what what's been going on with you? Well, but I got to tell you, you know what? I, I, I didn't do any wrestling last weekend, unfortunately. Which is a rarity. Rarity. Very rare in my life. Busy guy. Um, but I got to tell you, I, I did do an audition. So I figure with this show getting going, with the wrestling, I figure I'd get into acting. Right? It's a natural transition. It seems to be, especially lately. I think I'm pretty good at it. The next rock. 
I'll take that. I'll take that. Canadian rock. That's fine. But, so I went to an audition. They were casting call for wrestlers. It was all the way in Toronto, which, I mean, as you know, Toronto, as much as I love the Leafs, Toronto's a pain in the ass. Tough drive. Pain in the ass. Tough parking. Yo. You ever pay for parking? I didn't have to pay for parking for this, but whatever. I went to this audition. Take the go train if you can. If you can, go train everywhere you can because you'll save a fortune and time. Oh, my God. But, so I went to this audition, right? I walk in. I'm thinking, okay, I've got this. They're casting call for wrestlers. My dad sent it to me. I haven't even seen this anywhere else. So I go there. I pull up. I park. Who's at the corner? I see raunchy nuts. I Good go, guys. Okay. Good guys. Good guys. I like those guys. I figure, okay. I'm all right. It was, I, I figured there'd be a few people there. Just a few. Not a big deal. So I'm standing there. All right. Sabrina Kyle pulls up with Jeff Black. I go, okay, I like these people too. Not a big deal. I sign my paperwork, whatever. Space Monkey comes in. Love Space Monkey. Space Monkey's done a due diligence for me. He got scared off by the moose. He hasn't been back since, but he, he was here for a bit. Like Space Monkey. The moose alarm, yeah. One after the other. You've got Jesse V. You've got Ben Ortmans. You've got Chris Chambers. People just coming in. One after the Stone Rockwell. Rob Rage was there. Wow. You know Rob Rage ties his arms off. Big, big, biceps. big dude. He cuts off all the circulation here just so it all goes right here. You ever know what that oh, that's that? how it happened. Just, I, that's, saw... I actually saw him walking down the street like that before the audition, but that's beside the point. Rob Rage was there. I'm like, okay, all these people got this part. But there was one guy. One guy came in, Reed. One guy in particular. And I know this guy very well. I know him very well. And he decided he wanted to walk up. I saw him in the distance, way off, walking up the street. He comes up the sidewalk. And I'm like, okay, I know this guy. Know him pretty well. Walks on up. Looks right at us. Walks in the room. Doesn't say anything. Auditions happen, yada, yada, yada. That's whatever. I'm pretty sure I'm going to get the part. It's beside the point. You should. You're I sh- perfect for the part. I'm perfect for any part, Reed. That's why we're doing the show. That's why we're doing the show. So I walk downstairs. I get called back for a second look. Because who doesn't want to look at this twice? Uh, uh, so, hey, hold on. Let me take a sip first. And by the way, the A1 originals weren't there, were they? No, they weren't. Because if that was the yeah, case... I thought that would have started the parking I would have beat the p- yeah. I would have beat the piss out of them on site. I don't care about any audition. We'll, get, we'll talk about that later. I can't we'll stand those guys. Later. So I'm, I, I, walked, I, I get my second look. I go up. I wrestle. Audition. <clears throat> Come back down. Walk into my car. This particular person saying bye to everybody, right? Looks at me, says bye, says bye to the person behind me too. Behind me, beside me, in front of me, everyone but me, Reed. And you know this person very well. Oh, I know this person very well, Reed. Very well, Reed. You want to know who this person is? Yes. I will tell you. Who this person is, Reed. You want to know his name? name? Give us the name. Give us the name. I got to take a sip of beer before I do this, Reed. This is going to be breaking news. All right. His name was... Hey, bud. Not again. Hey, bud. What's going on, bud? Reed, don't... I'm sorry, guys. Don't be upset, Reed. Hey, everyone. How's it going at home? Hey. Hey, bud, how's it going? Oh, dogs barking, Clay. Just one sec. I actually asked Clay to be here. What? I did. I'm, I asked Clay to be here this time. I figured, you know, he's been here enough times. He's been on enough episodes. He's weaseled his way in. No, sorry, Clay. But he has, and I told him I'd have him on this show. You did. I asked him to come here today. Oh, how you doing, Clay? Thank you, bud. I appreciate that. Hey, hey no go Bulldogs. Hey, congratulations. Oh, all right. Hey. All right, now I'm happy he's here. Hey, okay. hey Elliot's going to come say hi, too, bud. Hey, bud. Hey, how's it going there? Oh, hey. look at this. Hey, okay. Oh, all right, okay. So, Elliot, here, come here. Come come get down, bud. You're not getting a Timbit this time. They're No, no, no. They're closed up, bud. You go on yeah, over we there. We saw that last time, pal. So, Reed, this is a perfect segue. I'm sorry, guys. Perfect segue. I want to get into our segment, which I actually asked Clay to be here for. Oh, okay. Big segment. We're debuting it for the first time. This segment is called Promo Time. (laughs) 
So this is one of those games you've been telling me about. I figure we should incorporate one at some point. Yeah, I like it. I like it. Okay. So at least once or twice. So what I'm going to do is, is because Clay Wilson is finally a guest on the show. Yes. That's right, bud. Reed, he's, you're going to see made me it. from now on. Well, better than having Kip Moist here. Fair enough. That was a little weird. He that hasn't kid. leaned over on me yet, so I'm going with Clay. I kind of knew he was going to do that, but I didn't want to tell you. Yeah, I, I know. Oh. I know. But we're going to cut a promo on anything, and because Clay's here and he's a guest for the first time, I'm going to have Clay cut the first promo, but I don't want to leave you left out because it is also oh. a special, I don't want to say day, maybe week for you, maybe a lifetime change. Hmm. I want you to pick what Clay cuts a promo about. And then when you pick what Clay cuts a promo about, then Clay's going to pick what you cut a promo about. And then you can pick what I cut a promo about. So go ahead. You tell Clay what he's going to cut a promo on. Woo, all right. Hold on a sec. Oh, wait, 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 wait. I'm so sorry. I figured, as with every segment. Oh, here yes. you go, bud. I uh, need a fresh one. All need, right. We're getting low here. I'm getting a little low. Clay, here you go, bud. Hey. 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 No Jesus twisted hey. tees this time, pal. Clay there you go. In. Clay is in. One for me. <laughs> yes. Too. All right. Hey. All right. I got this one. I'm going to finish oh. this one first. So go ahead, you pick what Clay cuts a promo about. All right, Clay, you're a very Canadian guy. I am, very indeed. Thank you, bud. No problem. Can you cut a promo for us on Tim Hortons? Tim Hortons? Tim Hortons. Oh, oh, I got a good promo for you, bud. All right, you ready for this? Let her fly. Oh, my God. Tim Hortons All is right. amazing. The coffee is freshly brewed every day. I get up in the morning. I have myself a cup of Tim's. I go down there, and I also get... A big box of Timbits. They're delicious. Oh, it's amazing. Oh, I highly recommend it, bud. And that's it. That's my promo. That's the promo? Yeah, that, that's my promo. What, you didn't like it? Well, it's, I mean, it's all right. I mean, you're talking about Tim Hortons. You're talking about Tim Hortons, so you're doing a good job. I mean, eventually, maybe yeah. sponsor? Eh? But yeah. for a promo, shouldn't there be a little bit of heat there? Heat? I mean, well, I mean, whoa, 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 whoa. The bagels, they, they come out heated. Yeah, we have some toasted. They're they're pretty warm, bud. I, I highly recommend them. They're good. Is that the heat you're talking about? Not, not quite, but at least he's on the right track. He's not lying. Reed, I, I did not say that this had to be a negative thing. It could be a positive that's thing. That's true. So that's a very positive promo, and it i got to tell you, bud, I'm with you. Thanks, bud. I'm with you, bud. Thank you. That's a good promo on Tim Hortons, which Thanks, sponsorship, like Reed said, I'm all about. That's You know what? So it doesn't have to – promos don't always have to be negative. So, I mean – that is true. It that counts. is true. That's so, right. Okay, that was good. I appreciate a positive promo once in a while. That doesn't happen often enough. So now, Clay, what I'm going to do yeah, is how about you pick what Reed cuts a promo on? Oh, Reed, oh, I got a, I got a topic for you, bud. All right. Oh, God. Right. You're going to really like this topic, man. Okay. You ready? Is this going to be one of those positive ones? Oh, it's going to be super positive. It's about hockey. Yes! A certain hockey team. All right. One of the original sexes. Uh, oh. I think I know where he's going. Oh, here we go. Ready? I've got the colors. The number one hockey team. Of course. The whole world, the Toronto Maple Leafs. No way. Clay, what the hell? I ask you to come here. You're going to have him cut a promo on the Leafs? Are you, yeah. f are you for real? I'm for real, bud. Clay, this is ridiculous. Uh, this is ridiculous. Because that's my team. Exactly. That's, that's, that's why I said it. The number one hockey team in the world is the Toronto Maple Leafs. I'm just preparing the voice here. Kind of a backhanded thing, but... My... All right. I, I, okay, I know you've been waiting for this moment, Reed, <sighs> so I'm really hoping this is going to come back my way. So why don't you go ahead, Reed, and cut a promo oh, on the Toronto Maple Leafs. One years have led into this. Oh, I'm not looking forward to this. Look right in here. I have sat in Hamilton, Ontario my entire life in the heart of Leafs Nation, which is stole from the Boston Red Sox, but I'll let you off the handle for that right now. So if you're watching this and all these years you've thought we're due for a cup since 1967, mm, 2011 proved you wrong, 2013 proved you wrong, and the last two years Freddie Anderson proved in Game 7 he just couldn't cut the mustard, didn't he? And now, now, you're sitting in the Atlantic Division and you're looking up. 
up, way up, because David Posternock and Brad Marchand and Patrice Bergeron are all signed, and Mitch Marner's not. So where are the goals going to come from this year? Where's the offense going to start from? And on the back end, you celebrated getting rid of Nikita Zaitsev, but you traded for Cody Cece? You went out and got Tyson Berry who can skate a flash, but he doesn't know his goaltender's first name. He hasn't seen his own side of the blue line since Bantam. So when you think that they're gonna come rolling into the black and gold and take them down, you might wanna think again. There's a dynasty brewing south of the border, boys, and it's wearing black and gold, not blue and white. You might not like it, but as Arn Anderson once said, learn to live with it. Is that it? 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 Yeah. Yeah, that's it. All right, Reed. Give me what I want. Oh, what are you going to say? Oh, yes. What okay, do I got to so cut the phone right now? I pick for you. I know exactly what you want. I know what you're itching to talk about. Mm -hmm. I can feel it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's right on the tip of my tongue, and all the people are going to love it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You are going to cut a promo on European football. What? European football. Like soccer? Football. Soccer. Foot football. Football is like... No, no, they use their arm to throw the, the... In European football, they use their feet with the ball. So Americans just call it football? Yeah, I still haven't figured that one out. So soccer. Football. I don't... You want me to cut a promo on that? Yes. That's not what I was expecting you to say. Oh, I thought it was. I don't have anything bad to say about those guys. Oh. Or girls. That Honestly, that kind of surprises me. You know what? Well, some of the guys, anyway. I mean, you know, you're not the kind of guy that goes in for the diving and the antics. I thought... Here's the thing. I do know one soccer player that is driving me insane. Oh, wait. And even though this isn't the topic that I wanted you to pick, Reed, there's one guy that is driving me insane. Oh, I think I might have hit a better one. Alessandro Del Bruno. I don't know if you got that jersey because you're an actual soccer player, or if you just ordered it online because you think you're some sort of soccer player, or sorry, football player. Appreciate it. But at the end of the day, at NSW, last time, in my, after my steel cage match, you decided you wanted to turn the lights off and then pop the lights on thinking you're Bray Wyatt or The Fiend or something. And then you wanted to come in, try and steal my belt. And then you kicked my head. And that's not even the worst part. I had a mouthful of beer, Del Bruno, and I spit that beer out. And I gotta tell you, Alessandro, that wasn't Peroni or whatever Italian beer that you drink. That was Molson Canadian, bud. And I gotta tell you, I don't waste a drop of that stuff. And I'm sick and tired of wasting an ounce of thought that's gone into you. Because at the next NSW show, I don't even know the date. I'm gonna import the graphic right about here. Because I don't even know the date, because I'm so mad thinking about it. I am going to punch your face off. Just like you tried to kick my face off after I wasn't ready. Because you decided you wanted to kick me in the balls when the lights were off. Because Del Bruno, I gotta tell you one thing. As hard as you can kick, I can punch ten times harder, bud. And you've pissed me off. So at the next NSW show at the Germania Club, I'm gonna finish this before it even gets started. Bud. I just got chills listening to that. and You know, Alessandro, as a great commentator once said, when the sleeves come off, bodies go down. It's about time he got something right. <laughs> Excuse me, because that entire time he got a promo on the Toronto Maple Leafs, he got that whole thing wrong, but he got that right because Del Bruno... 
you are going to go down and you are going to stay down just because you decided i'm not done this promo just because you decided you wanted to come back and now i'm full time again oh alessandro del bruno was full time in ontario big deal bud i'm full time everywhere and i'm never stopping so you can stop and start and stop and start and go handle your little soccer team's business i don't give a shit because at the next NSW show, which I don't know the date for. And you know why, Alex? Because that's because I'm busy. And you're not. I am going to punch your face off. Oh, those are some harsh words there, bud. Oh, jeez. You think it's time for a beer? All right, bud, well, it's time for chug a beer. Now, I'm sorry, it got so dark out because Reed here, very important, important business guy now, got a very important phone call. You don't have to say who it is, but I mean, give us a little bit of an idea, maybe. Yeah, I'll give you one of those. For the people that know, they know. It was the radio voice of the Calgary Flames that gave me a call and uh, to congratulate me on being the new voice of the Hamilton Bulldogs. And I couldn't be prouder happier or more thankful for all the support that i've gotten so I, it's one of those things i i tip my cap and i'm very humbled so oh, to summarize that hot shot here got a phone call from someone very important who's actually the commentator from jared kiso letter kenny guy love letter kenny his favorite hockey team's commentator just called reed on the phone to congratulate him that's pretty cool now, we won't name drop too much, but I think it's a good time to celebrate, so let's just segue right into the chugging a beer. Are you guys ready to chug fun. a beer? Let's Clay's still here for chug a beer. I wanted him here this time. All right, I'll stay here. I'm you're going to ch chug a beer. You're going to chug this whole damn beer, bud. I, okay, I'm telling right, you. Right. It's a Canadian. It's not a twisted tea, so oh I apologize. Oh, my God. I love those twisted teas. That's for you. I know you do. Oh, this there you go. Be a little bit easier. Look at that think. polite guy there hey, passing it along. You. All right, I got a fresh one here. Hey, here we go, boys. All right, no, no, it's here. very Canadian of me. You know what? Very Canadian of you, bud. I'm gonna consider these black and yellow. It's a bulldog's color. It is not anything to do with the Boston Bruins. Definitely not today. No. We will talk again when the regular season starts. <laughs> yeah, but until then, right. let's go, Reed. Cheers, let's boys. Go bulldogs. Cheers, Cheers guys. Here. Bulldogs. Oh, there's still a little bit in there. But I finished most of it. Do you win? Yeah. Oh. See? Oh, Clay's still going. going. Clay. Oh. Clay, did you whoa, finish it? Whoa, whoa, look at. Oh. Did he finish it? He nailed it. Oh. He finished it. He nailed it. Oh. Whoa, bud. Oh, We're what, bud. four episodes in? Four episodes? Yes. Oh. We finished a chunk of beer. Yes. Oh, Clay. Celebration. Oh, I'm going to get up. Oh, oh god, oh my heart, oh, we almost, we almost took out the table! Hey, hello, Reed Duffy, voice of the Bulldogs. What? No, we still haven't found the moose! Do you know a bounty hunter? Oh, let's talk. Do you have Thursday morning open? 